Hello, I'm on my day uh, 51. I wanted to give a quick update. I've been super busy, of course. Um, first of all, I well, as you seen, I did uh, like a lot of uh, a little like music videos and things on my profile, and uh, then I finally worked on packing my stuff to move. <coughs> um, have an interesting story to give here. Um, when I was in New York, it, um, one of uh, the friends that we were seeing there, uh, he showed uh, like a, a pretty well-known band, um, and he said that the the singer was his old roommate, and I was like, really? And I was, I don't know, I started to like be like wondering about it because I <coughs> I know this band because it, it had like a really big hit song uh, last year um, and it has 2.5 million views on my space and uh, around 4,000 plays every day so to tell you and the band is, it is from <coughs> just a couple hours from here since uh, the singer, she was um, his roommate uh, in college, and at first I was, it was kind of a weird, um, I was wondering a lot about this because it's not like um, it was someone that I had known, you know, and that then little by little I would have seen them, you know, <clears throat> getting like a bit and better or something and then get, get like a record deal like that because they, they got signed with a universal <clears throat> so it was kind of weird because it felt like like it was something that was really accessible like getting a record deal of that size and in the same time like it was something that was completely Unaccessible. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I'm still trying to understand those feelings I was having. It was kind of weird. Of course, I've never been in that situation where someone tells me, "Look, you know, that indirectly it was this is you know someone that was like indirectly close, really close to me, like that close. That is actually you know." in the industry doing you know some like pretty good things and big things so so then I went on the, the, the page of this band and uh, and yes in fact they were in my friends list Duh, that's why I knew that and I saw they were playing in my town like a couple days later which was tonight so I went to the show because I wanted, I wanted to see, you know, okay, what, you know, what's going on, and then also wanted to speak with uh, with the singer, because I actually communicated with her on my space, and I said, look, you know, I was in the apartment of your roommate, and I was so surprised that he knew you, and I'm coming to your show, and she answered, she said, oh yeah, I'm looking forward to meeting you, blah, blah, and so I went to the show, and the show was really neat, there, of course, they're really good, very professional musicians, very good, and um, they're like very tight on stage. And uh, um, yeah, you can tell <coughs> they're out there. Um, so there was still some like weird like feelings during the show. Like sometimes I was like completely out of it. Like I was on an, looking at everything like really from like outside of my body like really weird I don't know how to explain yet um I don't know if I had some envy or if I felt inferior and in the same time it seemed very like something very accessible to me, 
since it happened to them, you know. And, um, I don't know. <laughs> I have to think about it. Anyway, and then, yes, I got to meet them. They signed the CD that I, that I had, because I had their CD. They signed it, and we talked for just very few minutes, and they were very nice. And, uh, um, and the singer, she remembered <coughs> everything about her old roommate, you know, she talked about him and things to us, and, um, and then we said, okay, bye, and, you know, we took a picture, and, um, I, I don't have the picture, anyway, it's not on the computer yet, anyway, and, um, and then I left, and then, and then I felt that feeling like what it is, something accessible even more. So that was a very interesting experience. I'm very grateful for that. I don't think I don't know if I understand all of it yet. On the other hand, there's something that inspired me there. She sang a song about home and uh it reminded me of a song that I had written with a an another band like years ago and we never recorded this song or anything and, and I've been wanting to redo it on my own and uh, it, it's a song that talks about home um, like about missing home and I think I'm going to do that next I'm a little bit frustrated these days because I have so much to do about packing and everything and I don't have the time, I technically don't have the time to do music and I, and in the same time I'm really inspired to do stuff so I don't know how to manage all this so anyway uh, that was all for tonight. I hope that you guys have liked my the videos that I posted the past couple of days. So, uh, talk to you soon. Bye bye.